I'm going to click got it right here. Good. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Grimion, and you are listening to the Anime Dad Podcast. Hi, I'm John Grimion, and you are watching and listening to the Anime Dad Podcast. Hello, salutations. This is Gentle Criminal, or the voice of Gentle... Sorry. Hello, this is the voice of Gentle Criminal from My Hero Academia, and you're watching and listening to the Anime Dad Podcast. Welcome. Right. Amazing. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, John. And it is really a, a privilege um, to have you on the show. I'm, I'm a massive fan. Glad to be here. And, um, Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, your, your voice, especially in My Hero Academia, that's probably um, where I know you uh, more from. It's so okay. iconic and, and, um, and, and different and, and, and so, so well done. Is it, I haven't actually listened to the sub. Is it similar to the sub, Gentle Criminal? You know, uh, I've listened to the sub and the guy on the sub has a really distinct voice. I don't think that, you know, he's clearly not trying to be uh, British, but, you know, he's a Japanese actor. So he's just he's just very blah, blah, blah. He's very uh, he's very deep and sophisticated and he's just very suave. Mm -hmm. So he just has a very suave delivery. And uh, I when I saw the character, uh, the sides for the character, when I auditioned for it, I thought there's no way I, I can, I'm not going to be able to do anything but British when I read these characters lines. Cause he's got the mustache and the T and the cute little sidekick. And it's like, it's like an Austin Powers situation almost. And I'm like, <laughs> come on, this guy's got to be a Brit. So I talked to Colleen Clinkenbeard who, who sent me the audition and, and about it. And she said, I want you to audition British and American. And I said, okay, but I really want to be British. So we talked about it and we, and, and she allowed that. And I'm very glad she did. Yeah, that's fantastic. It works out really, really, really well. Oh, um, and and for, for those who don't know you, um, obviously we mentioned Gentle Criminal. Um, what right. are some of the other voices that you, um, other characters I'm best, that you voice? I'm also best known for playing a character named Mihawk on uh, One Piece, which has just gained a kind of a new renaissance. People were into watching One Piece now, a thousand plus episodes and still going because uh, of the pandemic. During the lockdown, people wanted something to binge for a really long time and they said okay i just I, I can i can watch a thousand episodes i can watch this till the cows come home and so we're a lot of us who are in one piece are getting more attention these days as the voice actors which is great i'm glad that people are into that show it's a serious time commitment if you're going to watch it someone made a huge manga as an art piece they they put every episode of the manga into one book and it's such a huge book that you can't read it if you open it you'll break it it's it's not meant to be read it's just an art piece to make the point of this is how big this manga and show have become and i think that was pretty cool i'm also on a show called food wars uh mm -hmm. which is a pretty popular anime I, I was in the first season as a french chef angry like gordon ramsay type french chef so i like that I, I, that's another accent i got to do which is great um, because I like doing accents. I like sounding different. I like, I like when I'm not recognized right off the bat. Um, because <clears throat> a lot of time voice actors are, you know, so many of your voices over the years, I've been doing it for 25 years and you can spot me like my characters, a lot of my characters sound just like me mm. or a little bit deeper or with my eyebrows raised a little bit like this or whatever. Um, you can, you can point them out. If you lined them up, they would sound the same from, True. from one show to another. Uh, so I like doing different voices. Um, I've also in a show, a uh, very popular show called Black Butler from a little back little back in the day from Funimation. I was uh, played Arthur Randall from Scotland Yard on that, another British character. And Colleen also directed me on that. So I, she kind of likes to cast me as British people, apparently. <laughs> um, and let's see, I played I played Vampire Hunter D in the 2015 re-release of Vampire Hunter D uh, on Blu-ray that Sentai recorded in 2015. Mm -hmm. That was the original 1985 movie. And we, they put a new cast in it. And I was I was D, so that was that was a good one that I that I'm known for. Those are my those are some like five really well known characters or the kind of the ones that I push. But I've been doing this for since the late '90s, and and um, just like a lot of other Houston stage actors, we all have a very long anime rap sheet. And um, so I've been recording for Sentai or ADV for about 25 years, and Funimation since about 2005, so about 20 years. Wow, you only look 20. Yeah. I don't know how, how that works <laughs> well, out. <laughs> appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Wow. No, that, that's really, really cool. That's that's incredible. You've done so so much. And you're right. Uh, there are, um, you know, some voice actors such as Chuck, Chuck, Chuck a bear. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. <laughs> he, uh, he, oh, he Chuck, sounds uh, uh, Huber. Chuck. Oh, Chuck Huber. Yeah. Yeah. Huber. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, Hubei. Sorry, <laughs> I was like Hubei. Yeah, that's no, okay. Uh, yeah. I was, I was combining. Says, name, everybody yeah. says me is Grimillion, so I'm Grimillion. <laughs> that's a, that's a French Cajun name, so people mispronounce it all the time. Don't worry about it. Hey, did Lemillion? Did Lemillion come from your last name? It must have. I mean, I don't think so. Japanese. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> it's very, very similar. It's similar. It's similar, but no, I don't think they. I don't think they pulled it from it. No. You could have been Lemillion, I think. I think Rico. Yeah, would, you could have swapped with Rico. Cool. <laughs> nah, Rico's 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 killing that role. He's crushing that role. He's a oh, good guy. You've incredibly, interviewed, you've interviewed him as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very talented guy, and very fun to talk to as well. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you have? Uh, are you a dad? No, I'm not. That's fine. Do you have a dad joke? Oh gosh, are dad jokes just always about dads? No, can... no, no. Oh, it could okay. be. It's it's just, it's just something stupid uh, that that's simple so and and not really I'm funny. Not... But, How uh, many narcissists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one because he just holds the light bulb and the world spins around him. I love around. that. That's a good and dad I like, joke. I, and I, I love the new shirts that say it's not a dad bod, it's a father figure. <laughs> that is good as well. I'm actually. liking that. I'm liking that new, uh, that new meme, that new shirt out there. I need to get one of those. I think that's a really, yeah. really good one. <laughs> I better watch it. I'm going to get one of those. So. <laughs> um no that was a good dad joke thank you i'm gonna give it to my daughter and, and i'll get some brownie cool. points for that um oh, now right, right. now you've worked on a few few obviously pe people struggle with saying who, what their favorite anime that they've worked on or but but have, have you had more fun on a particular anime that you've really enjoyed and you've had fun I've, or you've had more of a laugh on a particular one Oh yeah, sure. Well, my favorite my favorite role is Gentle Criminal, definitely. And I'm not just saying that because of my hero, but it's it's a very well written show. It's a very three dimensional character. It's got an accent. It's got comic relief. It's got very serious side to him. He's got a very uh, his arc has a, I think some very important messages mm -hmm. in it. Um, <clears throat> but the most fun I've ever had recording a show was a show at ADV called Cromarty High School, where I played a school bully and I played a very and I'm nothing like a school bully. I never will be. But he was this very overweight, bald tough guy and you talk like this so you guys are kind of ruin my voice but <laughs> he talked real tough like that and it turned out that um he had a he had he got motion sickness really easily and he didn't want anybody to think he was a a wuss so he didn't want anybody to know that he had motion sickness but he tried to be the tough guy all the time so anytime they were trying to drive to the school to beat up the other gang or have a rumble he'd be getting sick in the back of the back of the car or he'd be sick on the bus mm -hmm. or whatever and his lines were so funny. And some of the stuff that we had to do in the studio was so hilarious that we had to keep rescheduling for me to have more time to come in and record the rest of it because we couldn't get through it because me and the director kept laughing so hard. Wow. It was, it was really ridiculous. Yeah. Very funny show. Really what's, good comedy. What's the show called again? From Marty High School. Okay. From Marty we'll High School. Marty High School. We'll, we'll check it out. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's really, yeah. really cool. I, I've never... <laughs> I never heard of someone right. having, having to go away and then come back um, because the the, the lot, you know you you couldn't get through it because you got the giggles. Yeah, no, we we couldn't we couldn't stop ourselves. It was pretty crazy, me and the oh, director. So that's fantastic. Um, yeah. And and are you, you obviously worked being in the industry for over twenty years or so. Um, you worked with a tremendous amount of people. Um, do you have yeah. a particular voice actor that you've you've got a really good relationship with, or? Um, well, you know what's interesting about what's interesting about the voice acting industry and the friendships that you make in it. The friendships come from usually come from elsewhere because you only record in the booth by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know you get to know the directors very well, but you get to know the other actors if you happen to see them in the hallway or you've done a show with them in town or a stage play or you know them from going to anime conventions together and having a good time at anime conventions. So, uh, you know, and, and, and they're all really cool. I mean, a few, a few of the people that I've known for a very long time, uh, John Swayze is one of them. He's a great guy and he's, he's a director and a very prolific voice actor. And he and I do the same, a lot of the same types of roles because we have deeper baritone voices and tough guy voices and all that. Um, Lucy Christian's a good friend of mine from for for years now, and she's been here in town for a long time. We've done some podcasts together, and mm -hmm. we did a podcast actually with John. The three of us did a podcast, um, three guests on one show. Wow. Uh, let's see, Brittany Karbowski is is one of my favorite people. She's gone to a lot of conventions that I've been to, and we've become really good friends. And and just people that you know from the studio. There's so many of them. Uh, um, gosh, everybody mostly and directors that who you get to know like colleen and mike mcfarland who is at funimation who i've gotten to know really well uh yeah they're they're all just really cool people mm -hmm. 
That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, mm. I've heard it's, it's very, it seems to be from, from the outside quite a positive upbuilding environment as a voice yeah. actor. I mean, it seemed to be a yeah. lot of, I mean, there's obviously, I'm sure you get some people that aren't the nicest, but I'm sure you all build each other up and, and um, that's that's how mm -hmm. it seems from the outside. Now, yeah. how did it all start for you? What and Did you always know you wanted to be in film or animation or television? Yeah, I knew I wanted to be an actor. I've been a stage kid since I, since I can't remember. I mean, since I was in kindergarten or the first grade, I was doing school plays and I liked being on stage and I liked doing funny voices and I liked making Super 8 movies with my friends and I liked, you know, directing my friends in little movies and shows and performing for your friends or performing for, you know, your parents or doing a, put on putting on a show, putting on a play when you're a little kid. I always liked doing that stuff. I'm one of those children. I was one of those kids. And then um, I went to a performing arts high school and I studied theater and I loved it. I was just, you know, hooked on that. And, and then I studied in New York for a couple of years. And then I ended up going to film school at UT Austin and fell in love with video editing. And so I've been a video editor professionally as long as I've been a voice actor. Mm -hmm. And one day I realized as a full-time video editor that I had to go freelance because I wasn't even able to go to an audition for a voice job unless it was during lunch break or something. I was working so hard as a video editor in town that I just didn't have time. So I said, I got to balance this out because there's money to be made in both areas and both fields. I know enough people in both fields. And so I went freelance about 15 years ago, over 15 years ago. And I've, I've it, that's been the way my life has been since mm. I've worked out of my apartment most of the time. And I just go to an anime studio to record. I go to conventions when I can these days, especially since the pandemic and and uh, and I and I go to Fort Worth to record, and I record here in town, of course, at Sentai. And I do video editing in my in my office upstairs. My clients usually bring me material and say, "Show me something in a week." Here's the interviews. Put together a story. So you play producer editor at the same time, and and um, I enjoy that very much. So that's been so. Video editing was my bread and butter for a long time, and voice acting was something else on top of it. But I like being able to do both, and I'm able to do more voice work and go to conventions and do other stuff that's a lot more fun these days in anime since I've been freelance. Mm. Okay, yeah. cool. That's really cool. Yeah. And I love your social media. Um, I've seen some of your videos that you've done with oh. your little, <laughs> um, your little uh, gentle criminal Pencil doll. doll. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a fan, okay, so a fan, a, a really awesome fan of my hero and of anime came to... Uh, came to one of the conventions where we were all my hero actors were all at this one convention called my hero con in Texas earlier this year in January. Mm -hmm. And she just gave us all plush dolls, homemade plush dolls of all of our characters. And then I was sitting around on Sunday and I started to film him just for fun. And I filmed a little thing with David Matranga as, as the other character and it just blew up. And so, so I started doing some more of them. And every time I go to a convention, I try to find someone who's in the show who I can, maybe interact with or come up with a little skit and they've gotten more and more ridiculous and elaborate. Yeah. Uh, did you see the one with Rico, by the way? Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Rico's a good sport. He's, yeah, a, he's, he's a great he's, sport. He's a great and a good, good actor as well. And I, I, um, yeah, he's up for improv, <laughs> which I've done. Oh yeah. Too. He was coming up with all kinds of fun ideas. He was like, let's do this. Let's do that. I was like, all right, come on, let's go film this over here. Let's do whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, please keep it up. Keep it up. And, and, and even <laughs> add in, right. Add in some other anime people um, from other anime um, shows. Okay. It'd be cool to get I'll some. I'll try to do that. Yeah. Cross, we'll, we'll do some cross, uh, little cross pollination of uh, yeah. collabs. Yeah. Colleen and, and <laughs> um, Gentle Criminal, you know, Luffy and Gentle sure, yeah. Criminal. Or, uh... Oh, yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> um, no, that's really, really cool. Okay. Well, we got some quick fire questions. So just um, 10 okay. quick fire questions just for your fans to get to know you a little bit better. Oh, okay. Great, um, great. Yeah, very basic, and and just answer with yep. the first thing that comes to your mind. Um, uh oh, I know, it'll be incriminating, and 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 uh, no. <laughs> it'll be normal. Um, all right, so we'll start. What's your favorite color? Blue. Beautiful. What's your favorite type of music? Oh gosh, probably rock. Probably nice. still a classic rock guy. I, I I learned to play the drums by playing classic rock albums in my teenage room. Cool. So, yeah, that's really cool. What's your favorite town <laughs> that you visited? Favorite town? Uh, I liked uh, I liked Utah. I was in I was in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah for a con uh, last month, and I really loved it up there. It was beautiful. Cool, cool. Favorite food? Yeah. Pasta. 
Mm. Good spaghetti. Good can't turn down good spaghetti. But... You can't. I, I was thinking about it earlier. You can't, especially on a cold good day. Good sauce on that. Yep. Yep. Ooh, pizza's my... good too. Oh, pizza's really really good as well. <coughs> yes. Excuse me. No, no worries <laughs> at all. <laughs> Something in your throat. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite anime protagonist? Of that I've played or any anime protagonist? Anyone. Anyone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want, I, the, the, see. I don't watch a lot of anime. I just record a lot mm -hmm. of anime. I watch some anime. Um, hmm. Anime protagonist. Gosh, I've got a lot of favorite anime villains, but not an anime protagonist. Okay, well, let's go with Deku. Deku's a good protagonist for yeah. my hero. Let's go with him. Let's and then villain him. and Luffy. And Luffy's good too. Luffy, um, of Best villain, I think my I, I gotta hand it to Toga in in my hero. She's she's the most complex villain I think I've seen in a while. Heck yeah, I she's agree very with that. cool. Yep. She is. Yep. Um. All right. Your uh your favorite line <laughs> or, or scene that you've recorded. Um. And maybe you could just say the line as well. Hmm. Well, I've got a couple of them. Uh, one of my favorite lines from Gentle Criminal is "Cut to black, if you please." It's right when he's about to give it to the villains who he's trying to fight. He just goes, "Nope, nobody has to see this." Mm -hmm. Um, what else? I like it when we recorded a uh, a Blu-ray of the Adventures of East Blue for One Piece, and we got new animation, and it was updated from. So it was the fight, the legendary fight between Mihawk and Zoro. And I got to uh, fight him again with a little tiny blade. And Zoro's just <laughs> completely going off. And I'm just going, you're certainly ferocious. I'll give you that. Just back and forth like this. And I'm completely calm. Because he, he can't, can't beat me. No, I love that. That's that's one of my favorite scenes of all time. That's that's a good that's a good time. And 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 to be honest, I did not know it was you. I knew you were gentle criminal, but I didn't know you were Mihawk until I looked you up before oh, yeah. this, which is amazing. And like you said, you know, it, it's just because your 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 voices are so different. Um, you know, Mihawk's voice Mihawk's voice was a really interesting one because I've been recording him since two thousand seven. And I walked into the studio and I didn't know what to do. And I've told this story a lot, but it was so people bear with me if you've heard it before. But four kids did a dub and he's I think they did him as a Frenchman. I'm not sure it was that dub mm -hmm. or another dub, but somebody did him as a Frenchman. I say he's not a Frenchman, <laughs> but I didn't want to do like a Nico Montoya from the, you know, from like a like a Spaniard. And I thought, how am I going to do? He's got to have kind of a sly voice, like a sly over it above it all. And I thought I had just seen a Harry Potter movie. So I thought about Professor Snape. And he's not going to be British, but, you know, so if you think about Alan Rickman with the voice of Snape and then you just take away the British and you've got kind of a nasal, sly, snaky kind of haughty voice, that's Mihawk. Mm. So that's how I came up with that. And the director went, yeah, OK, good. Let's go with that. I love it. I love Before it. It and worked. It, it worked. worked really well because he's kind of. You know, he's too strong to even give you the time of day. You know, he's got that um, that, that suaveness about him, but he's also, you know, he's not he's too very emotional. Devil may, yeah, he's de very devil may care. He just shows up every two years and goes, I'm a badass. Goodbye. And he yeah, leaves. <laughs> he does. That's about it. <laughs> Hello, you can't beat me. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Could you, could you actually, one of, one of my things I've always wanted to, I know he doesn't want to be king of the pirates, but could you say in Mihawk's voice, I want to be king of the pirates. My name is Mihawk. I, I want, to be, want to be king of the pirates one day, and I will. I must. <laughs> I <Yeah>. have to. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't everybody, see him doing that. Everybody on Cam, when, I, when I, I get a lot of requests on Cameo for Mihawk, wish mm. my brother a happy birthday as Mihawk. Tell him he's going to be beat Zorro. Tell him he can come meet Perona. <laughs> Tell him he can do this and that. So I, I'm always doing Mihawk on on Cameo, and um, and uh, let's see, it's it's very strange, but but Gentle and Mihawk, the two characters I'm known best for, both have a mustache, both have kind of a haughty persona. They and they both have younger, red-haired sidekicks who have emotionally based powers. Hmm. Don't ask me. That's so how that happened. True, happens. that worked out really, really well. It <laughs> happened. What, what's what's the most popular things that people get you to say? Well, you know, a lot of people. You mean on cameo or just at a convention or anywhere else? Um, Either. You know, they they want me to they want me to say something as Mihawk. They want me to threaten somebody or tell their roommate to take out the garbage as Mihawk or someone. <laughs> you know, something like that. That they're either going to become the best that they can be, or they got to take out the garbage right now, or I'm going to. I'm going to whoop them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool. I like that. Or they give, well, they give somebody a pep talk, right? 
Yeah, pep talk. Uh, well, let's. Um, I've got a couple of improv things um, that that okay. probably maybe you haven't. You probably done before, but okay. um, bit of a to finish off the 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 interview. So we've got. Um, could you potentially? Uh, let's pretend I've just released an anime dad tea. All right, and and as ah. gentle criminal, uh, you talk about this tea. I talk about the tea that you have released. It's what flavor is this tea, mind you? I'm very picky about my tea, and I'd need to know which what what kind of flavor is it, please. It's uh, I just released it. it. It it's it's like it's got a hint of strawberry and vanilla. Strawberry and vanilla in one tea. <laughs> I doubt you could pull that off, sir. But <laughs> I I'd be very discerning in my taste. But could you just give me a sip of it, please? Could I just have a little bit of my cup? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Give it a go. Hmm. Ah. Oh, perfection. I'm not I'm not really sensing strawberry and vanilla. I taste just a, a touch of, is it mocha that you've added to that for an extra flavor, just some extra little curveball for all of us. Thank you. There is a little bit of mocha. Yes. Yeah, so, so you That's think you'll lovely. be, do, do you think you'll be the ambassador for the Anime Dad tea? Oh, absolutely. I will. I will. I, I can't wear the t-shirt because it would, it would not go with my, you know, my usual designs and my, my coat, etc. But certainly on, on weekends, I'll wear the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a photograph of social media on it, yes. Perhaps. <laughs> but I'll be sipping it on Sunday. Thank you. All right, I'll give you some royalties. That's perfect. Right, <laughs> That's <good>. perfect. <laughs> wow, all right. Um, all right. Uh, what else you got? The next one was, because um, I think Gentle Criminal would be a really good hero. Um, and maybe could oh, you yeah. try impersonate All Might and give a little speech? I, I won't I won't give you a rebuttal, but impersonate All Might and give a little speech to a villain like you're about to take him down as Gentle Criminal. <laughs> gentle criminal channeling all might to take down the ultimate villain i see oh my goodness fear not everyone everything is fine for i am here yes i am here with la brava i am here with my tea and i am here to tell you to cease and desist sir or you will be crushed under the great power of the greatest hero alive there you go that is How awesome. That? <laughs> that is I probably probably pegged out my mic on that, but yeah. No, that was really, really good. Your mic gain is actually really, really good. Some people oh, good. when they do when they do a um uh I don't know, anything loud, Zoom has this thing where it cuts you out at a certain point. But that was <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Right. But that right was on. that was perfect. That was really, really good. Oh, my goodness. Right. My goodness. All right, well well, final question to finish things off. What yes. is your favorite thing about being a voice actor? My favorite thing about being a voice actor is that it's a completely unique field to work in. You don't have to look like the characters. You don't have to feel like them. You don't have to feel good. You don't have to look good. You can come in in your flip-flops and your sweatpants and, and have no sleep and feel like garbage. But as long as you sound right, then you've, you've got the job, you've got the gig, and you got to pull that, that side of it off. So there's something very relaxing and, and comforting about that part of the job is that you just have to make sure that you sound good. Mm -hmm. It's very different from being a stage actor. You know, if you, if you're not, like the character if you don't resemble the character if you can't come off as the character you're in, you're in trouble mm. so the voice is the only thing you have to do but what's cool about being an anime voice actor is that some people ask me hey well you're not on stage with another actor you're not you're not in around scenery you're, there's no audience but what do you so what do you have what do you put well you've got this anime to look at that is completely polished and finished and has of sound effects and music and there's this whole incredible world that's been animated in full action in front of you and it's like virtual reality you kind of play a virtual reality game get locked into that picture and as long as you can see your lines and make a match you're in this entirely different world and you say the voice and the and the characters on screen being you in a way it's very it's very cool someone you're abs even someone you're absolutely not and have absolutely nothing in common with and don't resemble at all so that's that's a very it's a very interesting adventure of a job because it's also uh it's like an improv exercise it's like a cold reading you go in not knowing anything and you've just got to go and use your creative skills as an actor to pull it off and that's what goes on the blu-ray or netflix or hulu or wherever they uh or in the theater where they release it right that's so, so true that's it's just a very cool gig that's so true and and I'm a, a massive fan of yours. You're so talented, Thank and uh, a lot of people in New Zealand. That. When I said I was going to interview you, I literally got over a thousand messages from people <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, saying, "Oh, you know, ask him." I couldn't get all the questions out there, but 
New Zealanders love you as a whole and love oh, what you that's do. That's lovely. Well, and, I, well um, if there's a convention in New Zealand, I've got to get up there one day. We need to have you here. It's Armageddon next trip. Part. And um, a long trip. It's a long trip. It is a long trip. I go to Scotland yeah. once a year because my wife's family all from there, and it's 19 hours. There's only one flight. 19 hours. I oh, know three hours. 19 hours. Eight hours. I'm just dead by the end of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's at least 12 or 13 straight from New York City, I think. Or yeah, from Houston. Houston Intercontinental has a direct flight on Air New Zealand, and I think it's 13 hours. Wow, it's worth it though, but it is it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, well, all right, t t could you take us out John by um just saying uh this in in in, in gentle criminal's voice um this this episode sponsored by the Anime Dad Tea or something like that. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and listening. Today's episode is brought to you by the Anime Dad Tea, vanilla and strawberry combined.